Welcome to the Lynn Community Television Show, a program where we focus on organizations working to make their impact right here in the city of Lynn. I'm Sean Donahue, and here with me today, we have some elitists from the Cultura Latina Dance Academy. Practiced that about 50 times, and I just want to introduce these guys quickly. We got Yaya Rodriguez, our director, instructor, and choreographer. Um, she's a big, big part of this organization, what they do in the community. Jeremy Reyes, who's a student dancer. He's been doing this for a long time. He's one of the originals, too, so you've probably seen him out there and about doing the dances. I'm not even going to try to define what it's called. <laughs> um, and then we have Jelsami Diaz, the instructor and assistant. She's been doing this for a long time, probably since back... I think 2012 is what we discussed before the beginning of the program. Uh, but we're going to focus a little bit more on these guys and what they do. I want to say thank you to you for tuning in. And we've got a really good show for you today. You'll notice my voice is gone. I was at the AFC Championship game doing my job and yelling my head off. So I apologize for that. But I do want to introduce our guests and give an opportunity to explain who they are and how they're involved. So, yeah, yeah, let's start with you. Okay, great. Um, so I'm Yaya Rodriguez, you mentioned, um, the founder and CEO director of Cultura Latina Dance Academy, which is an academy that focuses on ch uh, young children, uh, teens, and adults. Um, we teach a wide variety of dance, and it's m a nonprofit organization, and we just focus mostly on the culture of dance and then teach it uh, to the community. Really interesting dynamic behind the academy itself whereas you guys are using music and dance to kind of enrich culture. We're going to get back to that. Sure. Um, so, Jeremy, let's talk a little bit about you. You've been dancing for how long? How old were you when you started? I think three years old. Three years old. So, like, you just started walking, and then you're, like, <laughs> doing your dance. All right. So, explain to me how you're involved with the organization. Well, mm, well she's my mom. That's so. a good start. <laughs> so, it's good to know the boss. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's fun to do it with my mom and my friends. So, yeah. So, you enjoy dancing? See, I do too, but I'm not nearly as good as you. I'm fun to watch, but it kind of gets ugly at the end. So, <laughs> um, I'm sure you've got some great instructors over there who could do, some, do me some justice too. Which brings me to Jasami. Um, so you've been doing this for a long time. You're an instructor over there. How else are you involved with the organization? Um, well, we started this by dancing with a couple of friends, I guess. And we just built it up. So. It was really good and you see the, the smiles on people's faces, the enjoyment. So when was the, uh, when was the Cultura Latina Dance Academy started? What year? Um, it started in October of 2011. Okay. It, it was formed by um, a need in the community. Uh, local churches and, and nonprofit organizations needed uh, cultural dances for um, mostly for the Dominican Republic um, uh, activities so we were asked by the local church to create certain dances so we started by choreographing three different dances for a small amount of kids so it was um, five girls and then from there it, we kept going because the, the children wanted to come back so it wasn't formal the first year um, but then after that we we started uh, we actually sit down and, and created a, a business plan and in how to create the organization and ever since we formed it in 2012 we've been at Lynn Arts. All right so I want to talk a little bit about the overall cause um, and I just mentioned it before but the dynamic behind the Academy is, is it's, it's unbelievable like what you do and like how you kind of work to spread culture yes. and how important it is to do through dance and music I mean like all musics all over the world are all different and it has exactly. a lot to do with their environment what type of uh, materials they had to make these instruments um, so it's a really really good way to share a culture with somebody which everybody can really enjoy um, I want to talk a little bit to you about the overall mission you set out to do this back in 2011 mm -hmm. um, we're, we're just passing the uh, the cusp of 2016 and 2017 so can you just provide us with some insight I mean what do you take away from this well I just love dance first um, and foremost and, and I always had a, a feel of helping the community and how could I help where I couldn't do it economically or any other way but I, I had the knowledge of dance and in, in, in this love for my culture so that's what I take home at the end of the day is is the feel of these kids when they leave class smiling and they want to come back and we give them candy, so they're always coming back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, when, when, is, when are the classes again? Yes. <laughs> we'll talk about that soon. soon. Um, so I just want to say, you know, uh, you know, outside of, you know, the academy and what it does, I mean, 
what you do, yeah, yeah. A lot of people sitting at home and, and, and thinking like, I wish I could do that, you know, dedicate myself to my passion, pass on the knowledge that I know about. And um, you've actually done that, achieved that. So that's a really cool thing. Uh, Jeremy, I'm gonna kick it over to you and talk a little bit about some of the different dances that are available. Come on, make me hit to this. What do you do? How do I mean, wh what are they called? Well, um, I have my favorite is bachata, and then it's salsa, and then it's merengue. All right, so those are your three styles. That's pretty much the whole gambit, right? What well, we actually have a wide variety now. Um, in with throughout the years, we have been able to expand widely. So we now have hip hop, and we have LA, and right. we are um, incorporated folklorics, which is the original way how we started the academy. Um, and we have the performance team that go out and perform at big events and compete. So it's we have a wide variety now at this. Uh, at school. All right. So, just Sammy, you're a uh, instructor over there. What dance do you teach? Um, well, on Saturdays, I think it's bachata class. So we help the dance teacher instructing the kids so they could better understand it. Okay. So you're one of kind of like the the fillers in the back. Somebody's got this hand up. Hey, this is the hand that you're supposed to have up for this. The beat tempo, that type of stuff. All right, cool. So thanks for the insight, guys. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the overall services that you provide. So obviously, we're trying to spread culture, mm -hmm. um, trying to create a sense of community among people. And, uh, and you're doing it in a way where it's grown. It's become a little bit more diverse. So the last time we had you onto the program, um, we were talking about some of the different style dances that you had, the courses. And you just mentioned that there were some developments. So can you make us hip to some of those classes, when they are, how people can get involved, all that stuff? Absolutely. So we, we work almost um, with the school year calendar, but we have two, um, two starting points, which is in September. And then we have um, in January, when the mid, kind of like the mid-season mid happens. So we have on Mondays, we have hip hop. On Tuesday we have bachata, and then we have ballet, and on Wednesdays the adults classes, and on Thursday as well, and then on Saturdays all toddlers. So we have the two right. two to six two to six year olds in the morning. It's like so much fun, and they're so happy. Like I'm so happy to have them. And then we have the older, the seven, eight, and nine years old, um, in Saturday morning as well. You know what's great about this is that you know a lot of like a lot of parents are kind of like segregated in a sense because it's like you drop the kid off, you pick them up, go to a PTA meeting, you meet a group of parents, forget their names, and that's it. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really not like that at no. the academy. You guys are going down there and you're creating a sense of community. You're allowing people to network with kids that have, with people who have kids of like ages. Mm -hmm. So you may be solidifying friendships and bonds that will last for a long period of time through the power of dance. How do you like that sound bite? Oh, I love it. Um, <laughs> all right, so I want to just, so we've recapped some of the uh, different courses that are available. Um, I want to just talk about the popularity behind them. Obviously, the big three ticket items, and uh, help me out here, guys. You got the, the bachata, mm -hmm. uh, the merengue, and then the other thing? Salsa. Salsa, I should know that, I love salsa. <laughs> well, you know, anyway. <laughs> um, so you mentioned hip hop's a new one. Are these classes growing in popularity? Oh, they're one of the biggest classes now. Um, we, we had to create an extra class. So we have the hip hop, the original hip hop, which it was one hour, and we maxed out. And so we had to create a, a second hip hop class. So for those children that were on a waiting list, so they can now come, come to another hour of class. So what's the age demographic? Uh, for the hip hop, it's between six and 13. Okay. So, um, so this is a um, this is a new class offered by the academy. You can reach out to the information at the bottom of the screen to find more information. Um, just Sammy, I want to talk to you. So you're, you're more so into the. Um, uh, do you plan on uh, on instructing hip hop? I mean, or do you plan on instructing any more newer classes? Or are you going to just stick to the uh, to the Dominican style dances? Well, I mean, I think I'll just stick to it because I've been like coming from that culture. So it's like more advanced to me, so I get it more and it's easier. Familiar with it, yeah. The tempos are very different. Hip hop's more like boom, boom, boom. And you know, I mean, I, I'm not gonna go through the, 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 try to explain what I don't know, but I know a little bit about tempo, but your tempo is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of transitions and turns. Right. It could be a little bit more fun. Um, so Jeremy, I just want to kind of get your perspective, right? Let's just pretend I'm a kid in your class, right? And I'm like, and I'm thinking about doing some dancing. 
You know, what do you know about dancing? Huh? I'm, a, I'm an Italian kid for some reason. Um, so I'm thinking about doing some dancing, Jeremy. What are you thinking? Uh, I don't know, uh, Cultural Latina Dance Academy. I don't know if it's for me. If I'm on the fence, I mean, what would you say to encourage me that this may be something that I want to try? Well, I mean, my mom gives out candy at the end, so. And um, I guess because you, there's different dances, so maybe one dance not, might not be good for you. There might be another dance that will. You know, one of my favorite things about performing, Jeremy, was the uh, sense of team, that camaraderie that comes together. And I, I did a little bit of dance. It was just to help out in another production. And I learned real quick I shouldn't do it again. Um, but it was like Fosse style dancing, like jazz, right? Which is just really bad for me because I'm a short, chubby guy. Those guys are all long and they're very majestic. I'm not. Um, but when it comes to performing, I always saw that, that team sense. You know, have you been able to develop any bonds, any friendships while you've been doing this? Yeah, I mean, she feels like my cousin, and um, there's one boy, and like feels like my brother, but because he's like not, he he doesn't go all the time to dance, but he goes like to visit and dance, and I think it's cool. Yeah, pretty cool. So, just tell me, what about you? Any bonds that you've developed since you were a kid? Doing well, the, uh... actually, a lot. I met him at dance. I met a lot of my friends at dance that we talk now, even if we still don't see each other. We say, oh, how you doing? Like, it's really great. So, yeah, yeah, what does that mean to you as a director? I mean, you set out to go and develop a program that gives people a sense of what the culture's like. And in essence, what you've done is you've collaborated and made available to a lot of different people opportunities for friendship, what does that mean to you? Oh, it means the world to me because um, when we first started, it was just to teach the knowledge, um, but we didn't think it was gonna be um, it, w it was gonna turn out like this. But the fact that it did, it's it's amazing. Um, we are building a community. We're building friends, and as they say, they now feel like they're so close. They feel fa like family, and that's at the end of the day, as as the world, as the community, as a person. The, you, we all connected, so we need to have that kind of bond with the rest of the people around us. We have to get all get along. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, I I don't think I've ever been to a dance where people were just unhappy. Like I I just don't think like in high school or anything like that. Or mm -hmm. like you know, obviously if you go to a club, there may be some unhappy people there. But I never. If everybody's out there dancing, whether it be a wedding or a prom or something like that, they're having fun. Like dance is essentially like the, uh, you could probably alliterate on this a little bit more, uh, but it's, it's a language, so to say. Yeah, it's so, a body language. Yeah, it's definitely a really cool thing. Um, so I want to kick this over back to the kids. Uh, we talked a little bit about your history in doing this. We've talked a little bit about what you've taken away from it. Um, where do you see this going into the future, Jeremy? Well, I mean, my mom wants me to dance, I mean, teach and continue. And I think I might would, I might keep on going, and I love dancing, so yeah. So do you do any other type of extracurriculars? you play uh, sports or anything like that? So you're an active kid. Yeah. So at some point in time, yeah, definitely. You gotta make an executive decision, you can't do them all. My grampy always told me you can't half butt two things. You got a full butt one thing. That's the censored version, but. <laughs> well, the, the beauty of dance is that you actually get to do it. Um, we have. Um, you can actually go ahead and have a, a profession. Um, you can be a doctor and still dance, because I have um, some of my students, are, I have a lawyer. And I, oh, wow. Back um, years ago, I used to have a, a correction officer. They w would come and dance. So you can still have your career yeah. and still dance. No kidding. So. so you get a lot of professionals who come in, too. Right. How do they receive the course? Uh, they, they receive it slightly different than the, ki the, the children. Yeah. Um, it's a little less structured. Um, but it's, they, they still learn the material and, and it's, it's, a, it's formatted for adults. So based on their feedback, I mean, why do these guys get into that? Um, socializing. Okay. Um, and the fact that you, you can actually go to a family party or an event and, and have fun. Um, and most people are looking for a social environment. Right. In, in dance, we provide a healthy social environment. Yeah, and it's an activity, too, that, you know, maybe some people aren't interested in going to the gym. Uh, it's a way to kind of get your heart rate up. You're doing that for about 30 minutes. So, Jill Sammy, how old are you now? Um, 
You remember? 12? 12, 12 years. <laughs> okay. So you've been doing this for about five years, so even back before you were 10 years old. Um, where do you see this going in the future? Do you want to instruct for a long time? Yeah, actually I plan on it if I'm still there, which I, hopefully I am, because it's going to be really big. So what about um, developing your portfolio, so to say? So getting into different types of dances, are there any styles that you'd like to see at the academy? Mm, well, we've seen like actually a lot since new ones are coming in, it's really good. And maybe tap, I don't know. Tap dancing? How do you feel about that, Jeremy? Mm. No, it's not your thing? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not very, I'm a clumsy guy, so I'll fall down. And, I don't know, the taps wouldn't sound good anyway. Oh, there's a tap right there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so just to kind of get an example of some of the work that you've done, yeah, yeah, in the community, um, you know, here at the station, we're out, we see you guys doing all that stuff, but a lot of people who can't get out, they may not be hip to some of the work that you've done. So can you give us some examples? I'm sorry, what was the question again? So, <laughs> so I'm looking for more so like examples of um, the work that you've done in the community. Mm -hmm. So, um, the types of classes that you have offered, mm -hmm. the groups of kids that you offer them to, where they may have performed before okay. that we've seen them. So we can familiarize ourselves okay. with what you've done. Absolutely. Um, so we, we have events, local events, at local churches, um, associations, and we have, um, we just did the Martin Luther King uh, breakfast. We also did an event in Swampscott for the Senior Center in, um, in Salem, I'm sorry. And we are doing um, a preschool this Wednesday, uh, this Friday, and um, we are also traveling out of the states. We're going to Connecticut. Hopefully, keeping our fingers crossed, we're going to Dominican Republic at the end of the year. So w we are out there in the community. Um, these are very small um, amount of performances compared to the ones we have. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So um, we get about maybe four minutes left in the program. Um, Jeremy, you know, and I don't know if you realize this, but I just kind of want to get your perspective on it because you're one of the dancers. But when you go to places like the community center or like the uh, senior folks, I mean, you're bringing a special thing to their day. Did you know that? Mm. You didn't know that. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, okay, when you go to these senior centers and you work with these people who don't get to go out a lot and they see a smile from a young kid and dancing around, you make their day. How does that make you feel? I mean, they always... They always say I'm a good dancer, and I am thankful for that, and I do like when I make everyone happy. Amen, brother. Well, I want to say thank you guys to coming on to the program. Um, I also want to say thanks to my staff. We've got Chloe, Pay Dog, and David. Um, I want to say thank you guys for tuning in as well. Uh, that's it for the show from the studio here at Lynn Community Television. I'm Sean Donius. So I want to say thank you to my guests, Yaya, Jeremy, and Chell Sammy. Uh, I hope I didn't mess anybody's names up today. <laughs> I probably did, but I really appreciate you, get you guys tuning in today. Um, thanks again. And uh, from the studio here at LCTV, I'm Sean Donahue wishing you all the best.